no! Walter, get away from there. Adult acne. All hell breaks loose on your face. No, no, no. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I have struggled with pretty much my entire adulthood. It's something that's very difficult when it's happening and that is adult acne. I, like many of you that struggled with adult acne, became so frustrated because you go through high school, you're totally fine, maybe you get a blemish or two, nothing bad, and then boom, you turn 20 and all hell breaks loose on your face and you can't do anything. And I'm making light of this situation, but I will say it was really depressing and it was honestly really difficult. I even had family members comment. And the frustrating thing is, I'm washing my face twice a day. What do you think I'm doing? I'm just making my face break out because I think it looks good? No. <laughs> I was frustrated. I was trying everything. This was a really big struggle for me and it was really embarrassing. And both my sisters <laughs> are the type where they never even have to wash their face and they have perfect clear skin and I have really acne prone skin and especially in the midst of it, it just seemed like it would never end. So a little bit about my journey is that um, I started really breaking out in my 20s. It got really bad. Um, around 23, after I got married, it just continued to get worse. And I hit it really well. A lot of people, you could tell that the surface of my face, there was acne. But the older that I was getting, the redder it was becoming, the more it would cluster, and it would become really painful. And I just didn't know what to do. I tried everything. I tried Proactive, Dermalogica, I tried Clarins. Clean and Clear, I tried every drugstore brand. I went to Sephora. I went to beauty counters, I basically asked everyone, and I had already seen my doctor and he had prescribed me topical cream, but actually after a while you just became immune to it. And I just really struggled and it was very depressing and I, it made me very sad. I loved seeing girls that could flaunt their natural skin, like my sisters. They never wore foundation, they just wear, you know, eye makeup or whatnot. And I was so jealous because I couldn't go to the beach or I couldn't be in a natural setting without having to cover up because it was just so red. And the worst thing was that it began to scar. And being so fair, like, I would just cry. I mean, I was devastated, especially when people would comment, like, I did not want this. I actually began to see a naturopath and I completely changed my diet. I took things out and that was amazing. For about six months, my skin cleared up the most that it had ever had and I, for real, it was never, during that time, it was never completely clear, but it was drastically different. Everybody was commenting, like they really noticed um, that my skin was looking a lot better, but after time it just began to creep back in. There was times when it just for no reason I'd have really big flare-ups. And so it was never fully the solution that I was looking for. And then I, out of desperation, walked into an Ulta one day, never hearing of this brand before, never trying anything out. I just picked up the acne starter kit and began to use it and it was the Mario Badescu acne skincare line and it was just their tester kit and I believe it was $50. I didn't see immediate results but it didn't get worse. 
So I kept using it. And honestly, six months later, my skin had completely cleared up. To this day, my husband will look at my skin and say, are you wearing makeup? And I can honestly say, no, I am not. I still have some scarring and it's not perfect. I still get the odd breakout. But it is nowhere, nowhere near where it was. Honestly, it saved my skin. So really quickly, I'll show you what I use every day, twice a day. If I don't wash my face, I get breakouts. So it's not like my hormones have changed. It's not like my skin has changed. It literally is this product. So the first product that I use when I wash my face is the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser. I just put a dime size on my skin, rub it in, and rinse off, and it's really good. Now I do try to take my makeup off first. It does an amazing job of cleansing, and really, this really works. Step two is I use this uh, Mario Badescu Special Cucumber Lotion, and it is like a toner. And I just put it on a cotton pad, wipe it all over my face, and usually what I do is I brush my teeth and wait for it to dry. And then the third step is the Mario Badescu Oil-Free Moisturizer, and this is SPF 30. I upped it, I had SPF 18, but I don't like putting sunscreen on my face because I break out. And honestly, I will say once I realized that moisturizer is something that I really need, I had oily skin, so I under-moisturized, which meant my body over moisture over overcompensated and that's why I had oily skin but once I started moisturizing game changer um, it really has helped even out my skin with the oils and with the breakouts it's been amazing so I think this is so underrated we don't realize how important moisturizing your skin especially if you if you have oily skin but you have to moisturize this is like the most important step so this, actually, I love this moisturizer. My sister, who doesn't have acne, loves this moisturizer as well. It's so awesome. And then the last product that I finish everything off with at night is, it was in one of my favorites videos, it's the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. And I showed you, you dip a, a Q-tip in it, and then you put it on your blemish, and it zaps them. This is absolutely amazing. Um, and I swear by this. So those four things really are what I use on the daily basis and have changed my life. Like, who would have thought? I just think it's a miracle. Like, I actually believe it was a miracle from God that I walked into the store and just decided to try it because it has changed my life. And I've gone days without using it and I will get a full out breakout. So this has really, really, really helped me and I absolutely love it. Now, one last thing that I add, you don't have to do, but sometimes there are days where I wear heavier makeup and I really need a good scrub to get it off. And what I'll do is I'll take a shower so that I can do everything kind of in one step. But what I do is I keep this in the shower and I'm not a big fan of Proactive at all. I actually really don't like their products and um, have never really been a fan, but I got this as a gift once because, you know, when I was having the difficulties, I was buying their kits because um, it was the only thing that would kind of work. And I got this as a free gift, and I actually like it as a exfoliant to get all of my makeup off if I'm wearing it really heavy or, you know, you should have exfoliate once or twice a week just to get all the dead skin off. And it's actually the deep cleansing wash, and I know it's for your body but it works really good on my skin it just helps take everything out and then when I'm in the shower then I'll follow it with um, the acne cleanser and then I make sure to really moisturize because I'm washing my face twice so I'm stripping it of the oils that's an extra step that I added that I actually really like so you can take that or leave it I really like it it works for me honestly I know that it's such a customized journey. You have to really find what works for you and every skin is different and there are different formulas for everybody. But I'm in hoping to share this with you, you might be encouraged to go and try it because honestly it worked for me and nothing. I really thought that I would never win this battle against acne, but I can say that I've never had 
clear skin before and I'm so much happier and I'm so much more confident. I don't feel like I need to wear makeup. Sometimes to work I don't wear makeup. I just put like mascara on and I feel great because there, yeah, I have a few scars, but you know what? I love my skin and I'm so happy with where I am now. I, I want to finish by saying if you are struggling with acne, there is hope. Don't stop trying. Just keep looking for something. This might not work for you, but there might be something out there. And I feel for you, it is so hard and so difficult and you feel so embarrassed to show your skin and there's just this longing inside of you to not wear makeup. But I promise there is something out there. And if you have to go see your doctor, I encourage you. I get it. I get what it feels like. So I hope that in your journey that you would find something that helps, but maybe this might help. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If uh, you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Follow me on Snapchat, Morally C Music, or Instagram, Morally C Music, and I will see you next week. Bye!